Alright guys, well, <laughs> what a day. Good God, what a day it has been. Uh, it has been rocking and rolling today here on Tuesday, February 13th, 2024. So, uh, your old Doomer has been out investing in Florida real estate uh today and and part of that process was trying to have a fucking conversation with somebody in the year 2024 who is i think like six miles outside of the united states of mexico trying to have a fucking a cell phone conversation, trying to have a fucking WhatsApp conversation, trying to send a fucking email to somebody in Tijuana, Mexico, who I needed to talk to. Uh, just all of this shit, uh, thinking about all of the years that I lived in Latin America and the unadulterated horse shit that you have to eat. Uh, I mean, you barely crossed the fucking Rio Grande River. You think this is a shit all country? So, I, 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 uh, all of these memories of my seven years living down there and all of those shit hole countries came roaring back. And I come back to find this comment on, uh, on Collapse Chronicles. You might, if you heard that uh, thing that I did with the, the Ain't Gonna Happen uh, little thing that I had with Elliot Jacobson a few nights ago, I went off on this rant about Costa Rica, uh, the, the environmental uh, crime uh, going on down there in Costa Rica. And uh, th th this rant has been... Uh, been building, uh, uh, this rant has been building for 30 years. So, uh, in 1992, I don't think you can still find the book anymore. I was down there, I, I lived a total, if you add it all up, I have lived for three years in Costa Rica. Okay, so I have three years I have spent down there in Costa Rica watching that country get utterly destroyed. I, I made it in there at the very, very end of the party in the early 90s when all hell broke loose uh, and, 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 and paradise turned into, into one more shithole. And uh, one of the things that I did in 1992, I wrote a book called Pura Vida, the, hot, the Waterfalls and Hot Springs of Costa Rica. And as far as I know, I finally hit zero hits on Google. Uh, as far as I know, there were no hydroelectric plants in 1992. I mean, Costa Rica was, you, you, you know, it was uh, wilderness back there. So I wrote this guidebook to water, so there were 24 waterfalls and eight hot springs. And I would say 24 waterfalls. And uh, the, the thing that kept happening, waterfall after waterfall, I, I, you, you guys have to, there, there's no way for me to put into words how gorgeous these places were. I am talking about, I went on these adventures down into this, this, these outrageously gorgeous uh, jungle canyons. Uh, still, you know, these steep walled jungle canyons that, uh, no, you know, that the planet eaters couldn't get to with these 300 foot uh, waterfalls, including one called Reventa Zone uh, Waterfall. Uh, and 
just absolutely gorgeous. When I was down there, you know, they were that um, uh, Jurassic Park. They were down there scouting. I was actually working with the waterfall scout for Jurassic Park, trying to find uh, a waterfall to use in there. I was actually talking to the waterfall scout uh, that Steven Spielberg had sent down there. You know, this is the level uh, of fucking coolness. These were some of the coolest places that I have ever been in my entire life, cooler than any fucking place that you have ever been to. All right, just this absolute over-the-top gringo fantasy that nobody was hearing about completely off the, uh, the, the map. You know, a lot of people were pissed off at me writing this book uh, about these Costa Rican waterfalls. But what I kept hearing from the locals is, is like gringo, the, the recurring joke is, you, you better hurry up and write your book because they have plans that the Costa Rican government or somebody, I was unclear, telling me that they were going to dam these rivers and, and that they were going, that these waterfalls, this, just these, the, you, you, you know, the, these temples to God. All right, we're, 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 we're talking a, a, a spiritual experience for any hard-hearted doomer, okay, where you fall down on your knees and, and you kiss Pachamama. You know, we're talking at this level uh, 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 of just, uh, you know, absolute paradise. Some of the most biodiverse uh, riparian ecosystems on this planet in 1992, and then all of these crazy lunatics down there telling me that, that all of this was going to get flooded, and, and, and there were these plans to build all of these, uh, these giant hydroelectric places, and, and, and I was just laughing. I was saying there's no fucking way uh, that these goddamn planet eaters are, are going to get their hands on this. It, they, they, they were sacred spots, okay, that had no business being uh, basically dynamited, dammed, and flooded, and obliterated off the face of this planet. I, I, I refuse to believe it. Well, that was then. That was 32 years ago. So I just get this comment from David Lou. David Lou says, You mentioned Costa Rica being an environmental crime. Do you have some insights or some videos about it? I don't know much about the place, but I have only heard wildly positive and utopian things about it told to me by friends. So I would be curious what stands against that. So my answer to Dave Alou was anybody who describes Costa Rica as wildly positive and utopian is the epitome of the limp dick lefty greeny who has swallowed the boatload of bright green lie horse shit that the UN is cramming down their clueless throats. These Beautiful people are every bit as clueless as Trump tards. And then I go on to Google. And I've never, I've never done this. I haven't had the stomach. 
How many hydroelectric dams are there in Costa Rica? Costa Rica generates hydro-powered energy from 18 hydropower plants across the country. In total, these hydropower plants have a capacity of 1,300 megawatts. It's 18. So, what that probably means is that 18 of those 24 uh, you, you, you know, just places out of your wildest uh, imagination, uh, out of your wildest imagination, uh, have uh, have been obliterated off the face of the off the face of this goddamn planet. Gone. Eighteen of them. And uh, so then I kept going down the list. Why is Costa Rica so good at hydropower? Costa Rica receives about 65% of its energy from hydroelectric plants alone due to its extreme amount of rainfall in multiple rivers. That's from Wikipedia. Here is... Uh, does Costa Rica have dams? I remember doing the Reventazone waterfall. The Reventazone dam is a concrete face, rock-filled dam on the uh, Reventazone River. It was inaugurated on September 16, 2016. Its primary purpose is the production of hydroelectric power. Uh, here is, is Costa Rica 100% renewable? For several years now, Costa Rica has run on entirely renewable energy for an average of about 300 days per year. That means the government did not burn any oil, coal, or natural gas to power the country. No other country this size has done this. Yes. So then, of course, I had to go over there and put in environmental damage of Reventa Zone Dam in Costa Rica. This is from the Jaguar Project. The creation of the Reventazon Reservoir has critically impeded the migratory flow of jaguars and several other species across the Reventazon Valley, which was completely obliterated off the face of the planet, uh, which connects uh, these two major ecosystems that say so you have 18 of these things, uh, 18, not, not only, uh, did, I, I mean, I, I don't even want to know how many millions of acres, uh, of, of this biodiverse, rich, uh, tropical ecosystem in Costa Rica was, was obliterated off the face of the planet for, for these greedy motherfuckers and, and, and for the UN, for the fucking United Nations. They're doing it to this day to uh, holding up Costa Rica uh, as the uh, poster child and, 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 and I'm not even going to get into my reforestation rant uh, and, and, and all of this other happy horse shit, bullshit, bright green lies. I'm just sticking with one of the bright green lies about Costa Rica. And, and, and it's not just a bright green lie uh, about Costa Rica. It's, it's one of the single biggest bright green lies uh, on the planet today, and that's about hydroelectric power. If, 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 if you are suffering some fucking delusion at this point, 
that hydroelectric power is a clean, green energy source. Uh, pull your head out of your ass. Not even talking about the initial just absolute environmental crime uh, of, of these 18 hydroelectric plants just in the tiny little country. Costa Rica, what it is, is about the size of Vermont and New Hampshire put together. Okay, imagine 18, imagine 18, imagine they suggested in Vermont and New Hampshire that they were going to go into Vermont and New Hampshire and obliterate off the face of this planet the 18 most beautiful biodiverse uh, riparian ecosystems in Vermont and New Hampshire. What all those little limp dick lefty greenies uh, up there in Vermont, uh, like, like fucking Bill McKibben, uh, he, he's actually uh, referred to sideways in here that I guarantee you that Bill McKibben is one of these clueless motherfucking morons holding up Costa Rica. Uh, I, I, would, I would like the river that Bill McKibben uh, lives on, uh, that they suggest they make a fucking hydroelectric dam out of your fuck, out of the mad river. Uh, imagine damming the mad river, uh, the Delaware River, you know, all of these. Uh, yeah. Uh, you you would hear these little le these little limp dick lefty greenies. You would hear their fucking panties in a wad. But but it happened down there in Costa Rica. So it, 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 it you know it, it makes me want to fucking puke. It's a fucking crime. But anyway, I'm gonna turn it over to the Water Keeper Alliance. Uh, I have actually interviewed a couple of people from the Water Keeper Alliance. This is a fellow I've never heard of named Gary Wachner. <coughs> and I'm going to put the link on here to you. I might come back with some future rants. We're just going to talk about hydropower in general, Costa Rica in particular. The false promise of hydropower, and I'm... Uh, from the Water Keepers website titled Costa Rica's Wrong-Minded Hydroelectric Policy is Contributing to One of the World's Most Misunderstood Pollution Problems. And I'm going to read about a, uh, a uh, about maybe a a third a uh, third of uh, uh, of this article and you understand that Gary he never saw what I saw he never experienced these places before they were obliterated off the face of the planet so he is coming in here as a latecomer not knowing what was lost so he doesn't even mention the original crime of these 18 uh, hydropower plants. Even he is not aware of it. I might, uh, I might have to contact Gary, but here is what Gary, if you don't want to listen to me, let's listen to Gary uh, from the Water Keepers. Uh, we're going to start in here. Uh, I have come to believe that hydropower is one of the biggest environmental problems our planet faces. I agree with Gary. Construction of hydroelectric dams around the world is surging dramatically, guided by the false premise that they produce clean energy, even as study after study refutes this unadulterated horseshit claim. I added the words unadulterated horseshit. The principal environmental menace of hydroelectric dams, 
and he never even mentions the original carnage. So after that is done, after the dam is built, okay, starting at that point, uh, the principal environmental menace of hydro uh, electro uh, hydroelectric dams is caused by organic material, vegetation, sediment, and soil that flows from rivers into the reservoirs and decomposes, emitting methane and carbon dioxide into the water and the air throughout the generation cycle. Studies indicate that in tropical environments and high sediment areas where organic material is highest, dams can release more greenhouse gas than coal-fired power plants. Philip Fernside, who is a pretty, I think I interviewed Philip, Philip Fernside, uh, a research professor uh, from Brazil and one of the most cited scientists on the subject of climate change, has called hydroelectric dams methane factories. That is exactly what they are. And according to Brazil's National Institute of Space Research, they are, quote, the largest single anthropogenic source of methane being responsible for 23% of all methane emissions due to human activities. Even that number 20, that number 23 may be low. The emissions can be huge even in temperate climates. And then he gets, uh, he goes talking. Anyway, back to, uh, uh, okay, uh, speaking of Costa Rica in particular, an article published in the book Climate Governance, Climate Governance in the Developing World focused this failing on Costa Rica, quote, these methane emissions are neither measured nor taken into account in calculating Costa Rica's carbon balance. Given that the nation's electricity de demand is projected to increase by 6% per year for the foreseeable future, and that the majority of this, at now at 67%, is to be met with increased hydroelectricity production, including such emissions in neutrality calculations would probably make it quite difficult for the country ever to achieve its goals, close quote. In other words, unadulterated horseshit with the uh, methane emissions. Uh, from, from these things. More, that, that Costa Rica is producing more greenhouse gases and, and, uh, from these motherfucking dams than they would have with, uh, with fossil fuel powered uh, power plants. They, they're lying sacks of shit. They're greedy motherfucking multi-billion dollar energy corporations peddling this bright green lie that the, the goddamn United Nations, the World Economic Forum, the boys at Davos, and all the rest of them are cramming this fucking crap down your throat. And, and Costa Rica is a tiny tiny little microcosm. You go down there to goddamn Brazil, over there to China, and, and, and you take this and, and you put it on steroids. Uh, indeed, in February and March of this year, I think this was written about six years ago, Costa Rica's government-owned government electric utility issued 
press releases announcing that the country is on track to reach its bullshit carbon neutrality goals. Uh, yeah, right, stating that 88% of its electricity came from clean sources. Uh, blah, blah, you know, talk, talking about all of this. Uh, but, you know, bullshit. News agencies from across the world spread this misinformation about hydroelectric power. CNN, the fake news, work, news network, claimed the prize for irresponsible reporting when it ran a TV news segment entitled A Carbonless Year for Costa Rica. More surprising still, some American environmentalists also took the bait. Green groups, including many national organizations, splashed these unadulterated horseshit stories and scientifically false information across social media. 350.org can you say Bill McKibben ran a large Facebook meme celebrating Costa Rica's achievement? And you've been hearing this fucking horse shit ever since. It's a big fucking lie, people. It's and, and, and I could do this same rant about the deforestation slash reforestation. I could do the same rant. Uh, 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 about those bright green lies. Sick and tired of this fucking bullshit. Um, anyway, let's just jump down. Uh, let's get down to... Uh, uh, Alright. This myth... This is. I'm just going to wrap this up because i got to go to bed. This myth seems to permeate energy discussions everywhere. A week after my paddleboard adventure, a white water guide on Costa Rica's Rio Tenorio, which is another uh, river I remember, uh, you know, they're talking about how a river guide uh, was raving about uh, about uh, how his country was producing this clean energy. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, wrap it up, Gary. Costa Rica. So this was so this was 2016. Costa Rica is now completing the largest hydropower dam in Central America, a project that will devastate the Reventa Zone River, completely obliterate off the face of the planet one of the waterfalls in my book, if not two of them, and fuck the jaguars. Uh, the 426 foot tall structure is being touted as a shining example of Costa Rica's commitment to the goals of the Kyoto Protocol and the clean development mechanism in particular. The methane emissions it will create do not appear to have been considered and may, may never be measured. But as troubling as Costa Rica's situation may be, it represents just one small piece of an enormous global problem. Dams are being built at a record pace all across the world. And then they talk about uh, China, uh, where 3,700 uh, hydropower projects are under construction or in the pipeline uh, across the planet. Okay, to wrap it up, Hydropower from Costa Rica to China is dirty energy and should be regarded just like 
fossil fuels and environmentalists far from embracing it should be battling to shut down hydropower plants and block the arrival of new ones just as vigorously as we work to close and prevent construction of dirty coal plants. Ain't gonna happen. At this critical moment in the planet's history, philanthropic funders that support action against climate change must fund a movement against hydropower. Ain't gonna happen. Unless the scientific truth about methane emissions from dams is more widely acknowledged, Porta Vida, which is the name of my uh, book, uh, Porta Vida, Pure Life, will never be achieved in Costa Rica or anywhere else. So, Dobby Lou, I uh, hope that answers some of your questions. I might come back with a part two uh, 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 about this bullshit deforestation, reforestation with these clueless little greenies believing that Costa Rica is being reforested. It, 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 it's every bit of a, a bunch of uh, bright green bullshit lie as this clean green hydropower. It's a goddamn fucking lie. Do you get it? You're being lied to by these fuckers. These fucking planet eaters. They're lying sacks of shit. They're not gonna stop. Humans need to go. Yes, little dog. And this human needs to go to bed. I will post this. Uh, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to post this video in case I forgot anything that I want to add to it. Pura vida! Buenas noches! I was getting a call from Mexico in the middle of this rant, so I better try to make a call to Mexico while I still can. Ugh, fuck.